everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have, once again, Jump Systems. We're at Launder Home right now. Uh, it's a Tundra world, which is great. It's going to work to our advantage. Um, however, um, it is a two and a half skull world, I believe. If we could quickly go to navigation here, we'll find out. Uh, yeah, two and a half skulls. So there's some good missions here that we can take, which I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about. Uh, let's have a look at the mech base real quick. So I did make a couple of adjustments. So the Apollo... Uh, is the big adjustment here. Uh, if we have a look at refit this guy here and have a look at him. So what I've gone ahead and done is I went ahead with the ATM build. I just want to see how this is going to work. So we've got four ATM sixes here with plenty of ammo. We've got what uh, about 12 turns of firing um, with this ammo, a little over 12 turns. So that's good. We had to take out one of the ER medium lasers and it's not really that heat efficient but if we can cycle the heat the uh, ER mediums that'll be great we have both ATM regular ATM ammo and HE ammo so I'm planning on utilizing utilizing this uh, as best as I can we do have the uh, still have the same uh, fire control system Artemis in here as well as our sensors tracker to give us some good ranged um, to hit chances um, and we left the tag barrage in here I didn't want to pull that out that's uh, coming in handy oftentimes more often than not the turret mount I moved from one torso to the other just it was just because to get things to fit in and I did have to take out the stealth system and put in regular ferrofibrous armor uh, because I, I needed to be case enabled for both sides and in order to get things to work the way I wanted it to and fit the way I wanted it to um, having regular case ammo um, or case protection was is the best I could do for this mech so we're gonna see how it runs it's got lots of armor so I'm not really that worried about it and then I think the only other thing I did, if I remember correctly, uh, oh yeah, the archer, we took out the incendiary ammo, put the um, one more ton worth of um, Artemis ammo. So now we have five tons of Artemis ammo in here. Uh, we are LRM 60, so we're going to need that. Uh, and then I removed, um, what do we have in here? Oh yeah, the missile range. Uh, um, sensors that were in here and put in the battle computer for the plus two initiative I'm finding that I was missing that plus two initiative in the past few missions so that's nice to have that back in there for everybody so um, that being said I've already upgraded our pilots we didn't really get all that much um, but uh, we've got the Argo training module number two on its way right now that'll give us plus one more morale we're already spirited here um, we gain 15 um, uh, resolve points per round of battle, which is fantastic. Um, current morale 25, so it's going to go, be going up one more uh, to 26, so it will be going to spirited right once, once we get this. But let's have a look at the command center here because there's lots of good missions we can be taking. You notice here, if I go up, minimum of one skull, but they're all like two, three, uh, two to three skull missions here that we can take. Uh, this one I want to try. It's against pirates, but we're not going to do this one first. We're going to take the bait down here at, at two and a half skulls against the local government heavy mech. Um, then we'll go with three skulls against the pirate one. Depending on how fast this one goes, we can do this one today. If this one takes a while, then we'll move on. But then we've also got this redirection, which is against two and a half skull against Clan Wolf. It's an escort mission with awesome salvage and um, payout opportunity. So we'll be taking this one while we're here as well. And then there's like, you know, incomplete intelligence and stuff, which we might take as a destroy base mission. It's, it's against Clan Wolf, so I'm not 100% sure we could do it with uh, three skulls, but we'll have to see how it goes. But let's take the bait here first. The local government back, two and a half skulls. I just want to see how the ATM build is going to work out and um, how the rest of the lance is going to function with that in there now. So let's throw the people in and let's get going. All right, here we go. Looks like we got a few escorts here as well. All right. So it looks like there's the one guy here, the Lance, and then most likely we'll get re reinforcements coming from that direction. Uh, okay. I think I know how I want to play this. There's not much you can really do in this particular map in uh, regards to maneuvering. There's really only a few selections, I think. Full speed, no target. 
Yep, get up there, buddy. How might I help? Roger. Start to close with the enemy. We don't want to give them this ground here. I'm here. Quick saving it. Okay. Okay, okay. Commander. Let's get this rack into position. I'm toying with pulling off the SRM, the Streak SRM-4. I'm not sure what I'm going to replace it with, though. Good to go. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But I'm still not sure. I mean, it's nice to have it there, but I'm, I'm sure there's something else we can replace it with that's going to give us some more uh, firepower than just that. I mean, we could just use this as a long-range mech, pull off the two uh, um, ER mediums and the uh, S that SRM Streak 4 and put in a uh, ER Clan ER Large. That's an option. Well, let's start this sucker up. All right, what do we got here? He was there, and then he wasn't. Really? He was like there, and then he wasn't. What the heck? Awaiting orders. That's never a good sign. Confirm. A bombard and a snake. Trebuchet. Hornet. Okay, not so bad. I don't know which one of these is worse, though. Trebuchet. Well, better chances on this guy. Let's use everything since he's just standing there like a jerk. Let's give him the big baboom. Not quite overheating though. Yes, Commander. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Of course you do. Ooh, riflemen. Really? It's 50 tons? Never heard of a 50 ton rifleman. Okay, not bad. What's this guy back here? Shadowhawk. Well, there's some good mech parts, and who knows, I mean, we might, if we get a, we can get a uh, bombard part out of this and make a bombard. Why is my thing green? It's like night vision or something. Let's see if we can kill this guy. He's got thunderbolts. He's got to go. Let's give him the big baboom. See ya. All right. Good start. That was part of the support lance. Yeah, thanks for helping out, guys. Okay. It's going to be this guy. 
Let's go to five. And let's warlord this because he's just standing there. So let's give it to him. Here you go. Stealth destroyed, eh? It's no longer going to be a snake in the grass. I was sure riflemen were 60 tons. It's the one end though, so I have no idea what the hell that means. Maybe they're the earlier versions of them? I don't know. As long as you don't shoot me, I'm good. I think this Treb is the, uh, the SRM version. Yeah, we should be able to sweep this side no problem. Then I think if this come if this happens fast, we're gonna go have to we're gonna go after that three skull mission today. I mean, we got have a half decent support lance here too that seems to be actually doing something. But if they've got three full lances here, it might take a little longer than I expect. Unless the snake is the quote unquote heavy mech we were supposed to be tracking. I'm almost expecting guys to come out of nowhere from back here. Ooh. Someone's got MRMs. Centurion? Hunchback? Okay, so kind of a standard lance. Gonna move forward, engage all these guys. Cause that's how I do. Let's take this guy out. Uh engaging target. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. Yes, Commander. Snake's yours, buddy. Let's burn him up. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this guy, give us a better chance to hit. He's almost done for anyway. As you wish. Ooh, we almost... 152 heat. We almost overheated him. Good to go. Flea's yours. Hornet, whatever it is. Ooh, terrible chance to hit. Finish this guy up, please, if you can. Leave the barrage off for this guy. Mm, I'm not going to bother warlording. Copy that, oh, I should have switched the ammo over, though. Not that it matters. Enemy eliminated. So I guess the snake was the guy we should have killed? Or we're here to kill, whatever it is. See now, What's up, Commander? makes me like, these mechs stack like this, I was like, ah, oh, okay, I didn't, I don't have swarm ammo now. 
Forty-two percent chance, though. Uh, rifleman. Sure. Roger that. Keep moving it forward. Position confirmed. Keep hitting them. Who do we have? That's the rifleman. 60% chance, 54, let's go after the rifleman. Five shots firing. Or was that the hunchback? There's two riflemen up there. No, it's two centurion, okay. Getting the trees. Get some of that superior ablat of armor on there. It's the baby rifleman. Come on. Give us our turn back so we can sleep these guys on the left, take care of the guys on the right. Sad eyed. Well, that guy's braver than the Shadowhawk. Good shooting, buddy. I think I'll leave the hell spawn to clean up the left. Everybody else is going to rotate right. That guy's running away. Nope, he's using his AC-10. It's at a range for a 20, I think. That's, that's more than 330 meters. Okay. Let's get into the battle. Might be able to clean this guy up. A uh, little better on this guy, though. Mm, let's see if we can clean them up. All right, well, there's an arm gone. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Waiting for orders. On my way. Oof. Yep, let's give it to this guy. Boom. Think I hit something good. What's the plan? Let's give it to this guy here. Um Maybe not. That's indirect, huh? Oof, really? All right, let's leave the rockets off for now. We'll bring them back in next turn, I think, but we'll fire this off. That plasma cannon's crazy, man. Bring the rain, Bubba, bring the rain. Oof, we can only see that one guy, huh? Alright, 
Let's position it up over here. It's going to show us his back. We'll take it with six shots. That was a pretty impressive shot, I gotta say. We got an Orion on our side? Lay down some fire. Here it comes. Take this. That hit something good. Yeah, I think I'm preferring the ATM build. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I gotta keep remembering to switch to the HEM when I get closer though. I think if I can do that, it should be fine. Oh, beautiful rifleman's gone. Okay, let's clean this one up and go home. See, this should have been one of those missions where we didn't get anybody dropping with us. See if we can clean this guy up. I'm gonna warlord it. Oh yeah, he got it. Um, Gundal got his warlord ability. Fire. Between episodes. See ya. Hostile eliminated. Speed there in the ship. Not like I'm chicken, but. Uh, this guy's gonna move up. I might as well use him as armor. Might as well use him as armor. Oof, good shot. That hunchback I know is gonna make us chase him down. So these guys have got full armor. Two Centurion A's. Hunchback 1G. I think this is the AC-10 Hunchback. I'm pretty sure it is. Although it could have periphery rifles. But I don't think the 1G is the rifle one. It's interesting that they prioritize stability, or they're trying to. Like fortifying the woods to offer, in, to offer themselves some defense is not the way to go at this point. Standing by. Yeah, they're out of range. Keep closing the gap here. Okay, his right side's fair. Let's find, just toast this guy. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. Commander? Okay, now. I don't think it's better to go... Oh, yeah, it's the same. Let's go HE. Taking that in the face. You have orders? I do. I've always got orders. Question or not is whether you're going to follow them. Oh, terrible chance to hit, but we're almost done here, so let's just hammer this guy. Certainly. Let's try and keep him nice and toasty so he's not going to shoot. 
Sorry, buddy. A plasma can is devastating, man. It's a little OP. It is 10 tons, though. Plus, you got to have ammo with it. But it's still a little OP. I think I would put it up around 12 tons. 12 tons and then have... Oh, my rotary's jammed. 12 tons and then the ammo being... Um, only four shots a piece. Or five shots a piece. Ooh, everything hit. Nice. So if you want to have 10 shots, you need like 14 tons for that. Because that's a big, pretty, that's a pretty big AOE, I have to say. Come on, guys. Let's finish these up and go home. Give it to him. Who do we got left? Nobody. Okay, internal damage. It's not his AC side though, unfortunately. Okay, it's the Centurion moving down. Oh, come on. Fix the cameras, guys. It's not Rogue Tech I'm talking to here. It's Hairbrain Schemes. If I'm going up a slope, this camera should stay at the same distance. Oh. Maybe it is the rifle version. All right, let's see who we got a better shot at here. Let's use the arrow. Uh, we're shooting at this guy's back. This guy's front. Take this shot. Oh, that's a lot of devastation. All right, flank the Centurion. Still using HE. Let's hammer him. Yeah, that was the crap version. Certainly. If you wonder why I'm staying in the open, it just gives me a better chance to hit. I'm gonna fire at this guy. Yes, Commander. Is that it? That's it. There we go. Beautiful. Target Mission successful. Alright, 212,000. That should more than cover our repairs. Which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Some XP. Yeah, we got Centurion parts. I gotta go for C-bills on this one. So we'll take one Centurion part. I know we got that. The Bombard part. Uh, is there anything good down here? I don't think so. Rocket tens, two streaks. Man, if they were clan, maybe, but not really. Primitive armor. Ah, what's this? TTS loves the Artemis 4 ammo improved call shot Tadag Marvel. Oh, that's interesting. We got fire control system advanced already. A lot of primitive cockpits. Different types of ammo. Artemis 4 ammo. We've already got it. I should probably take some just in case. Ah, I don't know. Or anything else we want here. This is pretty nice. I'm going to drop this in. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but having it as an option, I think, is probably a good idea. We'll keep it as an option. So we've got two mechs that we can build and maybe sell, depending on what they are. Let's confirm this. All right, two Centurion parts. We've got our Rifleman part, Snake part, Thunderbolt 15, Artemis, nah. Can sell those, sell. Yeah. Oh, we got some thunder ammo, finally. Nice. 
All right, let's see what we got here. 6,000 repairs, nothing. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get repaired and jump straight into that next mission. I think we could do that, no problem. Flying Q. Mm, actually, let's have a quick look and see what those other two mechs are. More than likely we'll end up selling, but let's just have a quick look here. Because I'll probably forget to do it later. So there's the Bombard. Let's ready this guy. Okay, and then we've got a Centurion here somewhere. Crab, uh, where's the 3 or 3 part one? 4 or 3, right here. That's one, that one we're definitely going to sell. Getting to a point where we can drop another XL engine in somebody here. Oops. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Nice seeing you too, man. Alright, let's see what we got. A whole lot of nothing here. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. That's a trashable one for sure. We'll get, what, 500,000 out of her or something? Yeah. Not bad. Bombard, let's have a look. Looks like it's an older version as well. It's kind of a weird-ass looking thing. Uh, so the both Thunderbolt 15s are gone, but we got some ammo. Not a bad shoulder loadout. No engine or anything. 181,000. I mean, if... Ah, I was just thinking we could put two Rack 5s in it, but just sitting here with no Fusion Core, we couldn't do it. So... There's just no way. Yeah, it was like with, tw with 25 tons left to in put an engine and stuff in. There's just no way. All right, well, let's trash this guy too. As much as I'd like to keep it, it's just not worth it. All right, so we made a million sea bills off that. That's pretty nice. Between the two mechs, that is. All right, command center. Let's hope that that's not the... Uh, what we're going to need to fix our mechs with here. Take the bait for Wolf again. Let's go this go this route against the pirates. Max salvage. Local pirates really hate us, but do we really care? The answer is no. No, we don't. Let's do this. Alright, well. Looks like it's just us. This could be the re they got two lances up there. They might have another one coming in from over here. This could be a reverse of the last one where we were overpowering the enemy. They might have more overpowering strength here, so. Standing by. All right, see if you can see what they got, Duck. I've got something. Of course, it's going to be this. Because what else would it not? Would it be, eh, guys? We gotta pull that guy down fast. What's the plan? I think we just go all out on him. We can't afford not to, I don't think. Rockets and all. Let's just do it. Tag, barrage, everything. I'm gonna warlord this. I want this guy gone. Let's get him out of here. There's some heat for you, buddy. Hostile contacts inbound, eh? Yep, they got reinforcements. Because of course they do. Let's move my heavy guy out in the open here. Give him something to shoot for. Where do they got? A bombard pirate? Okay. Uh, I think we take this guy. All weapons committed. Yeah. I want to hear that rack spinning. Give me the spin on that rack, baby. 
Here it comes. And firing. Yes. See ya, baby. See ya. Bloody hell, he says. Let's have at this bombard now. Let's go in, guns a-blazing. Tag barrage, yes. Warlord, let's confirm this. Just get in here and get as many shots on this guy as we possibly can. Oof, really? Forget it, we're doing it. All weapons are to go. Yeah, I don't think he's moved yet anyway. This guy was a support lance guy. So where's the heavy mech? What's this thing? Valiant? Okay. Oh, an awesome. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Get it? I was just saying the awesomeness. Is this guy a Vindicator? No. Quick draw. Oh, they got some weight behind them today. So there is a big difference between two and a half and three skull. For sure. An otter. So it's six against eight right now. I think, our, I think that awesome is really the next target. Or maybe the bombard, I don't know. I'm taking some serious hits. Or both. Yeah, you think? Not that bad. Was not. Roughneck, what is this guy? No idea, but it looks like a heavy. Valiant's the guy with the axe. Okay, we're going to shift our weight to the left here. What do we got back here? Oh, Centurion A. Awesome, fully armored. So the awesome is the mech that they were protecting, most likely. Let's give this guy the what for, see if we can get him out of here. Enemy mech. Oh, he's unstable. Yes, he's about to have a really, 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 really bad time. Get your stability back, get up a little higher here. Um, let's switch it back to standard for this guy. Yeah, I didn't want to waste the HEM on him. You think you can hit that guy from here? No, you can't. Um, Wonder if we can hit the chopper. Not bad in the quick draw. Wow, that's terrible. It's got no armor though. Like no armor. All we need is like one or two hits on him. But this guy, better chance to hit, so we're gonna go after him. Good shooting, man. Good shooting. Can we get a side shot in the quick draw? Guess not, huh? Can from down here. Ass. 
I know we're in the valley. I get that. But this guy's got to go. We're running the chance of jamming the rack, but we're going to take it. Did you actually hit him at all? That was a critical hit. Didn't look like I got any numbers off that one. Barely anything. Dude! Did the rack jam? No? you just a shitty shot. That's all it is. Yes, Commander. You know your job. Confirm. One job and one job only, and that's to keep this guy tied up as long as you can. Not overheating. It's not overheating. Alright, what's the chance to get this chopper? That's pretty darn good. So, we're going to multi. We're going to shoot for the chopper and for the quick draw. Uh, this is going to go to B. B and B. And hopefully that's enough to take out the chopper. Yep, plenty, plenty enough. Bomb Inferno. Oh, I never expected that to happen, but I'll take it. Beautiful. All right, they're down to one guy on this side. It's six against five now. If we can overheat this awesome with the Bushwhacker this next turn, I might be able to pull his legs off. Or take his head right off. That would be even better. But he's got, I know he's got a lot of heat sinking. He's moving in though. Yeah. It's a little toasty up there, ain't it buddy? That's the lousy Centurion too, the 3A. Okay, they got a Valiant. Uh, I can't even remember what the hell the name of that other mech was, and then one more guy over here somewhere. Let's reserve this guy. Standing by. Reserve. 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 It's all up to Goofy, man. <laughs> We're waiting for you, dude. Okay, Goofy. Yeah, I do. I know you're getting real close to this guy, but... This guy's got to be toasty by the end of this turn, so let's give it to him. That should shut him down. Yep. No more long -range missiles. Hopefully he goes before us, damn it. Well, we tried. Probably should have reserved him and then gone, let them go first, but... Receiving you. He doesn't get a chance to shoot, so that's good. Uh... Let's see if we can get around and put this guy on the ground. He's standing still, so... Let's see what we can do here. Commander. God, that looks, this looks perilously dangerous to shoot from there. I should wreck this Centurion. Because this guy's not doing anything next turn. So let's see if we can wreck the Centurion. Ah, maybe not. Come on. Ooh. 
Ooh, called shot at that percentage? Okay, damage the leg quite a bit. Knock his ass down. Gonna move over this way a bit. Kind of get between those other guys that are coming up and the rest of my lance. That centurion's yours, buddy. Uh, we're gonna warlord it too. Fire on him. They got no armor, so I'm not really worried about it. That's gonna go quick. Okay, now you much better chance 35 left eh let's go with this do we get the leg no but he's panicking he's panicking Okay. It's almost gone. Let's start this leg. Reporting critical hit. Okay, what are they doing? Valiant's moving forward. Go that route. Are you serious? Turn to face these guys over here. What we get, we get. Prepare to receive this Valiant. Uh, copy. God, he's almost got nothing left. See if we can get this leg. Come on, bail out, buddy. See if he bails out or dies. Oh yeah. Well done. We got lucky though. I will admit that. We got lucky. Let's give this guy some hellos. Some hellos! Ten from sixty hit by MS. Okay, mask is off. Roughneck, 65 tons. Okay. All weapons committed. 
Well, there goes his axe. All ATMs up, please. Let's use the barrage as well. Uh, I'm going to Warlord it because we can. Get a little better chance to hit. Maybe we kill this guy at range. <laughs> well, we only got one guy left. Alright. Can you get over it? Oh, you can see this guy from there, too. Praying on the weak. Here we go. I got my pla I got my Dun got my plasma artillery ready. Oh, the barrage is ready too. What do you know? Firing on this guy. Oh, it's warlord it. Because we can get a little better chance to hit. God, this is a turkey shoot. Full warlord. Here it comes. Commander. Direct line of sight firing. Beautiful. Here it comes. Beautiful. One guy left. Somewhere. Wonder if he's stuck off the map. I think that sometimes happens on this map. Either that or he's running. <laughs> Which I wouldn't blame him at this point. There's somebody over there. Yes, Commander. All right, duck. Copy that. Okay, not seeing anything. Probably off the map. Oh, no, there he is. Immuit. Okay. Engaging target. I'm here. Fire it all. Will ya? I knew you were going there before you even decided to move, so I can't see how that's happening. He's running. Of course he is. Commander. He's getting away before the rack can get on him. That's what he's doing. It's like, they got a rack. I get out of here. Get out of here! Order. Okay. It's a race to see who gets the last kill. The enemy is in somehow inspired now that they're all dead. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's watch Hancock again this afternoon. I don't know if you guys have seen that film, but it's pretty damn hilarious. Yeah. This is going to take forever if this guy keeps running. Just get here in case he decides to turn and fight. Stay in that last little 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 bit of trees that's left over after all the burning. Full speed it is. Roger. Full throttle. Come on, buddy. Turn to fight. Yeah. Good. I need to go home. Yes, Commander. Let's 
I just shoot over my guy's head. Why not? Shouldn't hit him, in theory. Good to go. Oof, terrible chances to hit. Good thing I didn't move first. Be even worse. There you go, Dallas. It's all yours, girl. See if you can finish him up. Get back here to try and deter him from jumping away. Here it comes. Oof, really. Really. Awaiting orders. Yeah, man. Crank that heat up, baby. Crank the heat up. Be there in a jet. Full throttle. Wow. Oh, one hit, nice. Is there a way you can get to a position where you can see him directly? Oh. Right back to where we were. Most than now. 12%. Well, that's a little better. 14%. Oh, we still got the rack left. And see where he goes. I know we destroyed one of his jump jets, so he's not jumping jumping that far. Hellion. Gotta make up for missing that one time with the rack. He's running. He's running. This guy's all yours, girl. Can you get in there? Nope. Not today. Wow, you actually go before everybody else. We'll take the flames for a better chance to hit from the side. Full rotary. Leave the ER mediums off, fire the rest. Actually, let's warlord this. Increase our damage. And firing. There you go. Took long enough. All right, there we go. So I think three skull missions against anybody that's not clans is okay. Two awesome parts. I can't say no to that. Um, and then after that, you know. Oh. We had one of these guys already, but we got rid of it. Um, what's a broadside? That's a pretty damn big mortar. Heavy MRM 10s. Three tons? What? 20% flat jam chance, though. It's not even minus to hit like a regular MRM is. That's a bit ridiculous, I think, for three tons. I mean, come on. Maybe five tons, but not three. 
That's kind of cheating. MML 20 risk. Fifteen percent jam chance. Suspicious cargo. <laughs> Detonates the unit's engine. Three quarter of its trait effect added to the engine explosion. All damage is dealt in the area of effect. <laughs> I guess this is what that uh, helicopter was carrying. Su suicide bomb. <laughs> it's worth like one point one two million. <laughs> Uh, if we take that for, for shits and giggles or for the money, I think we've got one mech with a plus one engine. We could probably take this and use it. I don't know. Uh, oh, double plus ex exchanger. Yes, please. I know it's three tons. We definitely might be able to, well, you know, or the core. I, we might be able to use that later. Oh, double plus heat bank. That's Right now, that's better. 21 ton. Going to take that. Radical heat sink kit. Oh man, really? Ball liner. Oh man. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right, we're going this route. Oh, the sensors tracker too. These are really nice. All right, let's go this route. Use this. Use it. Oh, wait, this is just double heat sinks though. Five percent chance failure on activation. Ten percent additional failure chance on consecutive turns. <sighs> to go for C bills. This would be nice too. I don't know. I don't know. Improve swarm ammo. We've already got it. Improve swarm. We're not using it. Oh, jeez. Oh, H MRM thunder rounds. One mine per projectile. Five mine damage. Wow. Five mine damage. That's just crazy. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long with this, guys, but I'm just trying to find things that we can use in the in the immediate. This is probably going to be one of them. The great thing about this is it replaces a double heatsink. Same slots, same tonnage, but it, then it, it just increases your overheat threshold, which is great. So we're going to go this route, I think. I mean, it's not optimal. I mean, we, we could have gone any other way, but taking the awesome parts, I think, is really the only way to go here. All right. Centurion part, Imowit part, heavy MRM-20, small laser blast, suspicious cargo. Well, at least we can sell that. You got the heat bank. Ah. Improved swarm ammo. Okay, well, not bad, I guess. All right. Well, 37,000. Not too bad. Not too bad for a three skull mission, that's for sure. We could have taken a heck of a lot more damage than that. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it for today. Two good missions, I thought. Uh, overall, we did pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to end it. Um going to figure out what we're going to do for next episode. I think we'll take the clan missions next episode. Uh, two and a half skulls if there is any um, and see how we do against them 
and see if we can pick up some more stuff. Uh, we're really close to getting an awesome, which is pretty awesome. I was actually shocked to see that there, but uh, that was nice, nice to get that. All right, so I'll leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.